Philadelphia police say that a drug deal led to a deadly shooting last night at the Target on City Avenue in Winfield Heights. One person was killed. He has now been identified as 25-year-old Daquan Carter. Howard Monroe is live at the store with the very latest tonight. Howard? Yes, this happened right when the Target was about to close last night. And this Target, it reopened this morning. However, this has left many people here uneasy. Now, three people were shot in this incident. The other two are 24 and 31 years old. They were taken to the Lankanau Hospital. Police say they are both listed in critical condition. The shooting happened just before 9 last night. Police say a witness heard gunfire and then saw a man in a white Jeep lose control and crash into two parked cars. Police were already at the store taking a report on an unrelated robbery when the shooting happened. Police say seven or eight shots were fired and marijuana was found in the car. Police also recovered two weapons. Police say no one else was injured. Earlier today, we were able to talk to the owner of one of the cars that was hit in this incident. She says she was in the store for less than an hour when the shooting happened. I didn't find out exactly what happened until I spoke with police like an hour later um, asking if I was going to be able to get my car. And he was like, no, it's part of the crime scene now. Any day, any day, anywhere, it's just too much. You know, I just don't know what to do. It's time to get the violence out of the streets of Philadelphia. It's just really bad. Now, there have already been 31 homicides in the city so far this year. That's 82% higher than this time last year. And now the city council is preparing to take action. Coming up when we see you at 6 o'clock, hear from the council president about the next steps in an attempt to control the violence across the city. But for now, live in North Philly, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Howard, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.